Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for joining me on today's video. Today I am doing my own gel nails and I am going to create this really gorgeous cat eye design with some little gold details. I think it's so pretty. It's actually kind of wintry and I was just kind of doing it out of my head and I feel like it kind of fit with the season. So I'm going to share with you how I did this look. removing my previous design and for that I'm using my e-file and the luminary black diamond carbide bit so this is what I'm starting with my nails are not shiny because I was messing around doing stuff with them so that's kind of where I'm starting with and I think they're about three three and a half weeks grown out at this point if you are doing your nails and you don't have anything on your nails, then you obviously wouldn't have to do this part. But I am pretty much doing a fill with the gel, so I'm gonna start by removing the bulk from the previous product. I don't have any design on them, so I don't need to worry about removing color or anything. Just kind of debulking and getting them thinned out, and if there's any lifting, making sure and getting that off and then I'm gonna fill them. And I'm using my Erica's ATA Journey 30K e-file for this, and I will make sure and have everything linked in the description box below. So once I have everything debulked and I also removed some of the length, this is what I'm left with. So now I need to start working on the prep and I'm gonna start by pushing back my cuticles. I'm actually using the Coco and Claire cuticle pusher here. This is new to me, so I like the rose gold finish of it, super pretty. And it is very sharp, so you always wanna make sure when you are using a brand new cuticle pusher, they can be sharp, so you wanna be extra careful with it. So I'm just going to push back all of my cuticles and then I'm gonna use my e-file again to remove any of that stuck on cuticle dead skin from the nail before I apply my gel. For this part, I'm using the Eric ATA Russian nib, and I'm going to be using it at about uh, 18, 19 RPMs, and carefully, very gently removing any of that stuck on cuticle from the nail plate. If you don't remove this, you will definitely have lifting. You wanna make sure the nail is really nice and clean and it has no dirt or debris or skin or anything left on the nail plate because that will cause lifting. I'm also using this bit to thin out that cuticle area or the nail fold around the nail and this is going to help me when I nip it off, it's just going to make it a little bit easier. Now to refine that cuticle area, I'm switching to a ball bit and I am going to gently go over that cuticle area one more time just to polish off any of that loose skin or any cuticle, that dead skin that's still on there. This is gonna like make it nice and smooth and it's gonna prevent hangnails and it's just gonna give like that really nice polished off look around the cuticle area. Okay. 
So now you can tell I did my pointer finger and that's what it looks like compared to all the other nails that haven't been done yet. So you can kind of see a little before after. After I've done all the nails, I'm just cleansing them really, really well with some cleanser. And this is going to, going to remove any oils or debris or dirt, anything that would be on the nail that would cause lifting. So we want to make sure they're super squeaky clean. For my primer, I'm using the Luminary Commit Primer. And I'm just going to do a nice thin layer over this, over the entire nail. This does not need to be cured. It just air dries a little bit and then you can go in with your gel. Now for the gel, I'm using the Accents Trinity Gel and this is in the shade SW1. It's a really nice kind of peachy neutral shade. It's probably my favorite from the colored hard gels that they have. So this is what it looks like, super pretty, and it has a kind of runnier consistency, so I will do one nail at a time. So I'm gonna paint on my thin layer first, and this is gonna be our slip layer, and then I'm going to add a little bit of a bigger dollop, and I'm going to kind of float it around and make sure the nail has good structure. So here's that little dollop going on. And I'm just going to very gently move it around to where I need it so that we have a nice apex and a nice smooth nail. If you need to, you can always turn your nail upside down with a gel like this when it's runny. Turning it upside down will kind of help give that structure. And then I'm gonna cure that. And this is what your nail should look like. So nice and thin at the cuticle area and then it goes up to have a nice apex and then it goes tapers back down towards the free edge. So here's all the nails with the gel applied and now it's time for me to shape. I didn't worry about shaping them beforehand because I knew I was going to finish file after I applied the gel anyways. So instead of picking up the file and filing twice, I do most of my shaping after I've applied the gel because I know I'm going to file and shape the nails anyways. So I'm just filing the free edge, getting the shape that I want, and then I'm gonna go over the surface of the nail and make sure it's nice and smooth and has good structure and it's nice and thin around the cuticle area. And this will also help prevent any lifting. Lastly, I'm taking a thin carbide bit and I'm just going around the cuticle area and this is just again going to make sure that it's really nice and thin and flush around that area so that it blends really nicely down until it gets to the natural nail, super thin, and this is just going to create a really nice look and it's going to help prevent any lifting because if your nail is too thick around the cuticle area then that can cause lifting. So this is kind of like my last step that I've been doing and it just kind of helps create that nice thin cuticle area and good structure. For the design, I'm using Daily Charms C03 in the color Precious. This is a cat eye gel, like a rose gold, and it's so beautiful and so shimmery. So first, I'm just going to cleanse and dust the nails off, making sure there's no dust left on them and they're super clean. And I'm going to place a little bit of that gel polish on my palette. And I'm using a brush. This is the Premium Detailer Number no. 6 from Magpie. And I'm just going to paint kind of these abstract shapes, kind of swirls onto the nail. Then once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to use the magnet and create kind of a velvet effect, which you turn the magnet upside down 
and kind of place it around the entire nail and then you cure it after that. So I cure each nail at a time. That way the pigment is cured into the exact place that I like it. And so I'm gonna do kind of like a different pattern on each nail. And if you're interested in more about cat eye gels, I do have a separate video on that that talks all about them. Next I'm using a really pretty chrome gel in gold and this is actually from Helen Nails underscore Yig on Instagram. She has her own product line and so if you want to get this exact chrome gel you have to message her on Instagram and you can purchase it from her. And I find that it just goes on so nice and you really need a very, very little product on this. So I'm using my striping brush and again, my palette. I have a little bit on the palette and I'm just very, very lightly creating an outline around these shapes. And then I'm going to use a dotting tool and the chrome gel and I'm gonna create some stars and some little dots as well. Lastly, once everything's cured, I'm just top coating with a no wipe top coat and then I'm going to cure the top coat and after that I'm going to use a little bit of cuticle oil. This is the Fiote Daily Oil from Zillabu and it was really nice, like it felt really nice on the skin. So I used the oil and then we are done with the design. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments if this is a type of design that you're into, a little bit more abstract. I personally love abstract nail art and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.